Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez appearing to be consoled by fellow Democrats Thursday after the chamber overwhelmingly passed funding for Israel's Iron Dome. Earlier this week, AOC and the far left forced Democratic leadership in the House to scrap military aid to Israel in a bill to keep the government funded until December. At times, the debate over this standalone bill for Iron Dome got ugly. I will not support an effort to enable and support war crimes, human rights abuses, and violence. We cannot ta be talking only about Israelis' need for safety at a time when Palestinians are living under a violent apartheid system. Florida Democrat Ted Deutsch delivered a blistering response. I cannot allow one of my colleagues to stand on the floor of the House of Representatives and label the Jewish democratic state of Israel an apartheid state. That's anti-Semitism, and I reject that. Republicans blasted members across the aisle, accusing them of caving to the progressives and failing to stand by our Democratic ally. GOP lawmakers have repeatedly blasted Tlaib's rhetoric on Israel. She opposes this because they have a vocal minority in the majority party that is anti-Israel, that is anti-Semitic, and as Americans, we can never stand for that. Instead of standing by her opposition in Thursday's vote, AOC broke ranks with the squad by voting present at the last minute. Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett thanked members of Congress from both parties for their overwhelming support of Israel and commitment to its security. Whoever tries to challenge that support got their answer today, he added. The people of Israel thank the American people and their representatives for their strong friendship. And besides, Rashi... Besides Rashida Tlaib, Congresswoman uh, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, Cori Bush, a small handful of other Democrats also voted no, along with one Republican, Thomas Massey from Kentucky. So now the bill moves on to the Senate, where there is broad bipartisan support for Israel. Reporting live from Tel Aviv for Newsmax, I'm Daniel Cohen. Allison, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Daniel Cohen. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.